Happy Sentinels Tuesday, everybody. I got good news and I got bad news. The bad news is I am tired. I am always tired. But the good news is that thread that I mentioned in the last video that I was going to be making and putting on Board Game Geek has borne fruit. And we will be seeing the first of it this week in The Amazing Hyperbole, a hero created by Emperor Eternal. He has the dubious distinction of being the fourth now custom stage magician hero for Sentinels. I guess people just like stage magic. His character card looks real nice. His deck does not have art yet, so don't let that throw you. It's ready to play. He is going to be fighting the Ennead, just the plain old Ennead, alongside Raw Horse of Two Horizons, Lady of the Wood 2199, and the Idealist. And we'll be fighting in Evidence Storage, which also doesn't have art, so that fits. This is like the most basic game that I have played on this show in quite some time. I don't even have to look at what the villain does. Let's just do it. Death's Grasp hits the lowest for two. That is Lady of the Wood. And that is purple, so we get the red card. Blast of Flame hits the highest for three. That's raw, so he takes four. And that's red, so play the top card of the villain deck. Can we get all three colors in one go? No, but we can get Taste of Immortality, which brings out Geb. That's fine. Nobody cares about Geb. All right, that's their turn. Ra will summon Staff. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and play the Staff of Ra. Heal three. And we'll immediately use the Staff of Ra and hit new it for five. Draw a card. Let's play Thunder Gray Shawl. Whenever Lady of the Wood deals two or fewer damage to a target, that damage is irreducible. So we'll use its power to deal up to two targets, one irreducible lightning damage each. We'll hit new it and a tomb. Draw a card. Idealist plays Focusing Tiara, and she uses her power to draw. Oh good, at least I've got a concept now. All right, Hyperbole. It's a digital display. So his thing is he's got ongoing trick cards. When this card is play, a hyperbole deals up to two targets, three projectile damage each. We'll hit new it, and a tomb. When another hero deals damage, you may increase the damage by one. If you do, destroy this card. So they're just kind of one-off things with a nice team support effect. He should probably be first in the turn order, but, you know, showing off heroes. His power is Abracadabra. He deals a target, one projectile, and one psychic damage. And we'll hit new it with that, and draw a card. Cool, off to a good start. Evidence Storage gives us Razor Dart. As long as this card is in a hero play area, it has the keyword equipment. When a non-device target in this play area deals damage to a target from another deck, increases damage by one, changes type to projectile, and if the damage target is still in play, move this card to the damage target's play area. Well, nothing's going to happen just yet. All right, Ennead, do your worst. Death's Grasp again. I'm still going after Lady of the Wood. That is purple, so we get an orange card. Sun's Fury. Everybody take two fire damage. Raw takes three. And that plays the top card of the villain deck. Taste of Immortality again. This time they actually heal, we get Nephthys. Who shuffled this? Shu heals them, and Nuit heals herself, and that's it. Okay, Blazing Tornado. Hit Nuit for four, draw a card. Play Snowshade Gown. Whenever Lady of the Wood regains HP, you may select a target that has not been dealt damage this turn. Lady of the Wood deals that target one cold damage. So she's going to heal three, because geez, and hit Nuit for one. Draw a card. All right, let's go ahead and play Giant Floaty Head. I'm just going to go ahead and use its power to draw a card and draw a card. Hey, there we go. Now we can get to somewhere. All right, and let's say we increased Lady's damage by one. Let's pick a card, any card. Each player reveals the top card of their deck, puts it on the top or bottom of their deck, and each player may draw a card. Oh, look, Monster of Id. Let's put that on the bottom of her deck. Everybody else got good stuff. And then he'll do two damage to Nuit and draw a card. All right, Evidence Storage. Sample a one Don. This card in his plate deals a character card in this play area. Two irreducible toxic damage. There are none. Play the top card of the environment deck. First time another target in this player deals damage each turn. This card deals one infernal damage to each non-environment target in the damage target's play area. Oops. So we play the top card of the environment deck. Sample 4B Pike. This one's happy. Well, I'm looking at these at the card text and just not parsing it at all. Okay. At the end of this play area's turn one non-environment target in this play area regains two HP. If no targets regain the HP this way. Play the top card of the environment deck. Okay. I forget how you get these into your play area. Probably the evidence crate. Use damage dealt to this card by one. Every non-environment target deals damage to this card, discard the top card of the environment deck. And select a device card at random from the environment trash. Put it in the play area of the target that dealt damage. Okie dokie. All right, Ennead. Okay, are literally gonna do the exact same thing. Death's Grasp hits Lady of the Wood, which goes purple, which means we get an orange card. Mass Overheating now, darn. H-1 Equipment Cards, which is all we have, unfortunately. Everybody take two. And then Red happens, which plays the top card of the villain deck. Okay, at least it's Ancient Magics. That destroys the rest of our stuff. That doesn't deal any extra damage. That's green. Everybody take one lightning damage. 
they all heal one, by which I mean Newt heals one. Newt heals two. Two highest take two each. That is Hyperbole. And Rahu takes three. She hits everybody for one. And then each villain target gains a hit point. Son of a bitch. Ugh, okay, Living Conflagration. He's gonna hit Newt for three. And then he'll hit her for two and draw two cards. I'm gonna play Meta Rush, draw a card, search for a season. Summer is always good. Shuffle, and then we'll play Fire in the Clouds and do three fire damage to Newt. Draw a card, because I can't use her power for anything. It's, let's see, destroy a season, play a season. That would actually let me play that Summer. Changes the next damage dealt by Lady of the Wood to a type listed on it, you may use a power. Don't have any powers to use, but okay. Next time she deals damage, it'll be fire. Karate Robot. Let's hit Newt for two. Draw a card. Practice makes perfect. When this card enters play, draw a card, then you may play a card. After you discard one or more cards, you may draw a card. If you do, destroy this card. I will play the hand is quicker. Hyperbole deals a target two psychic damage. Let's hit Newt. I can play a card. Let's play Fluffy. Equipment Prop. This is his other kind of card. Whenever an environment target enters play, this card may deal that target two melee damage. Power is destroy an environment card, destroy one of your prop cards. We're not going to do that. We're going to take and hit Newt for two. We've almost got her. It could be one of those Ennead games. All right, evidence storage. Cryo regulator. Drugs do nothing. All right, no targets regain HP. So play the top card of the environment deck. Faceless duplicate. Cards dealt lightning damage. Move it to the player or the source of that damage. Oh, maybe Lady of the Wood could get that. And then we choose fire damage or cold damage. This card is immune to damage of the chosen type. We'll choose cold because there's actually fire damage happening here. And let's see, that hits itself for one, and I think nothing else happens. All right, Ennead. We still haven't taken any of them out. Ancient magics. All right, we have five ongoing equipment cards, which means we can keep two of them. Don't really need fluffy. Don't need Living Conflagration. I do have Bright Idea, so I can get the Karate Robot back. Okay, everybody take two Infernal Damage if you have stuff out. Lady of the Wood is almost dead. And that one is green, which is the only good news. Everybody take one Lightning Damage. The Heal one, Gib hits the two highest for two, which is Idealist and Hyperbole. And Nephthys hits everybody for one Fire Damage. Ow, this is bad. Let's summon another staff. I'm probably going to play it. No, actually, I'm going to play that Scorched Earth. There are six environment cards in play, so all y'all can take six. We hit New at first and drop her. Everybody else takes seven. Ra's sick of this shit. Okay, let's drop the Cryo Regulator. That reduces the damage to five. Don't want the Razor Dart. Drops it to four. Take this out. Drops it to three. Take this out. Drops it to two. Then he will hit... The Evidence Crate. Discard the top card of the environment deck. Select the device card from random at the environment trash. Okay, he gets the sample, which actually puts the damage back up to three, which means he's going to destroy it immediately. Deals a non-environment target in this player with the highest HP three toxic damage. Well, damn it. And he hits that for two. That's fine, he made things happen. And then I guess we'll use his power. Draw three, discard two, and draw a card. All right, we're gonna play Fire in the Clouds. Deal up to three targets, one lightning damage each. The first one is Fire, so it gets increased by two, so we'll hit Atum for three, hit set for one, and then she'll hit this thingy and move it to her play area. First time that character will be dealt damage each turn, redirect that damage to this card. Excellent. I don't have another season to play or any other powers to use, so I'm just going to draw a card. Okay, bright idea. Concept for my trash into play, top card of my deck under it, put this under it, and then we'll go ahead and karate robot. Two and two, three and three, we hit out two for six. Draw a card. Let's encore and put a trick for my trash into play. Press the digital display, because that was good. He'll hit a tomb and set for three each. And then he will hit Atum for one and one and draw a card. All right, evidence storage. Another crate. Good. Mostly. Okay, shuffle the environment trash in the environment deck. Well, there goes th this environment's entire purpose. Mass overheating. We have no equipment out. Good. Everybody take two. That hits the duplicate, which means she takes no damage and it doesn't move. That was red. Play the top card of the villain deck. Elemental storm. Damn it. Ra dies. Are we surprised? Not really. That is green. So everybody take one lightning damage. Gib hits Idealist and Hyperbole. Neth hits everybody for one. Okay, we have a grand total of nine hit points. Can we win? Move a card from the villain trash to the top of the villain deck. I mean, no. We'll let Lady of the Wood draw a card. The only power card in her hand is Suncast Mantle, and I would, well, you know, I can use that. All right. Oh, increased damage dealt by Lady of the Wood by three as long as her HP is five or less. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. So she deals herself one two, three, four, five, six fire damage, 
which is redirected to the duplicate and destroys it. And she deals another target four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fire damage and kills Atum. Thank goodness she's so OP. Draw a card. Idealist would like to heal one. Hit everybody for one. Oh yeah, they should all actually have one more hit point. And then we'll use Karate Robot. Hit set for four. Draw a card. Sleight of hand. When this card enters play, you may destroy an ongoing card. I will not. When another hero's ongoing or equipment card will be destroyed, they may put it in their hand instead. If they do, destroy this card. He'll hit set for two. We're all gonna die. <laughs> all right. Evidence Storage plays the Razor Dart again. That's it. All right. Shuffle the villain trash into the deck. Shuffle the environment trash into the deck. Elemental Storm. Okay. Hyperbole and Lady of the Wood go down. Okay, so it hits her for one. They all heal one. Geb hits her for two and we lose. Shit, that was a fast game. That was, ooh, that was terrible. <laughs> it's a low hit point team plus Ra, who is a weak link. Well, his in cap powers are one player may play a card, destroy an ongoing card, and destroy an environment card. Useful. Unfortunately, too little too late. Let's take a look at his deck. Grand Finale. I was kind of trying to build up to this, but it didn't work out. Hyperbole deals a target X here reducible psychic damage where X is the number of trick cards in play. For every prop card in play, one hero may use a power now. I need a volunteer. This would not have been useful in this fight. When this card enters play, select a villain target. Damage dealt to that target is irreducible until the start of your next turn. When a villain target would be put in the trash, you may put it on the bottom of the villain deck instead. If you do, destroy this card. The Great Zimzam's Wand. Power is increase the next damage dealt by hyperbole by one. You may play a trick card now. Nothing at my sleeve. One other player may play a card now. You may take a trick card from in play and put it into your hand. That's cool because a lot of them, like Press the Digital Display, has a very good on-entry effect. Out of the hat, search your deck or trash for a prop card and put it in your hand. If you search your deck, shuffle it, you may play a card. Vanishing Act. Trick. When this card enters play, increase the next damage dealt by hyperbole by one. When hyperbole would be dealt damage, you may prevent that damage. If you do, destroy this card. Where was that when I needed it? That's all, folks. Reduce damage dealt to hero targets by two. Where was that when I needed it? <laughs> you may not use powers. At the start of your turn, destroy this card. That's pretty nice. Hocus Pocus. When this card enters play, Hyperbole deals each non-hero target one psychic damage. And if no other trick cards are in play, Hyperbole deals a target two psychic damage. Start of your turn, you may destroy this card. If you do, Hyperbole deals a target X psychic damage, where X is the number of trick cards in play. My lovely assistant. The power is either Hyperbole regains two HP or you draw two cards, both of which are useful. Coins, candles, and cards. This is another prop. First time each turn, Hyperbole is dealt damage. Hyperbole deals a villain target one damage of the same type. Power is increased damage dealt by hero targets by one until the start of your next turn. Destroy one of your prop cards. Here's Linking Rings, his last prop. Whenever a villain target enters play, one hero target regains one HP. Power is up to three targets regain one HP each. Destroy one of your prop cards. Could he use that? He's actually got a lot of very good cards. I just didn't draw any of them. <laughs> And that happens sometimes. But yeah, he's not as much... I mean, he is, he is kind of a support hero, but he actually deals enough damage by himself that putting him last wasn't really a terrible idea. But that was just kind of an overwhelming Ennead game where they played literally the same three cards for the first two turns of the game. So, that's Hyperbole. You can find him on Board Game Geek. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Tabletop Simulator, the Reaver Sentinels, Cauldron DLC, and Bart KF Sentinels Gallery, and not like the Greater Than Games products, please support the official release. And flip. I didn't overload the recording for once.